Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to take out these. This is actually an induction cooktop that uses IRFP 260s and it has 12 volts supplied by this buck converter to the gates of these transistors to run them. So I'm going to switch them out with IGBT transistors. So we're going to basically switch MOSFETs for IGBTs in this Mazzilli circuit. This is really a proof of concept video to see if we can make the Mazzilli circuit work with IGBTs. The difference is we're going to have to supply 24 volts on the basis of the IFP uh, of the IGBT transistors, which are these things right here, instead of 12 volts, which these IFP 260s get. So I'm going to see if it works. Uh, I'm going to switch out the transistors right now, change the voltage on the buck to give uh, 24 volts to the bases. So uh, the top of the cooktop is right here. This is a bunch of turns of Litz wire. This is 2,000 strands in this Litz wire. And uh, the way I connected it is I used a solder part to burn off the insulation from the ends of the, of the Litz wire, basically like that, and then put thinner wire so I could connect it. That's worked, that method has worked in, in other cooktops that I've made. So uh, let me get done and we'll get Changing right back. out the transistors, use mica pairs, use a thin but good sized heat sink and put a uh, thermal paste, better from these kind of tubes, on both sides of the mica pad. Mica is a great heat transfer medium and it's a good insulator too. So get the stuff on like this. generous with it, spread it evenly, and then place the transistor and just press it down lightly, like that. Do the same with the other one. The voltage that's provided to the gates to get them to 24 volts with this buck converter, it has like a, a tremor on it right there. You can adjust it until you get to 24 volts. So just keep turning it. This will go all the way up to like 32 volts. So I want 24. You don't want to run these RGBTs with uh, high voltages above 30 because it'll damage the uh, gates, the uh, bases on these ones. So you have to be careful. So 24 is like a good voltage where the thing switches completely. Tighten the new transistors in place. like that and let's connect it up and test it out okay I just got it running and uh, got a big can of water here and I'm using my um, IGBT 60 and 60s and I'm running it off a uh, switching power supply just to test it it's working just like the uh, the put this coil is pretty pretty cold this is actually totally cold with the water boiling and it's working just like the IRFP 260 so this is great so it just shows you can run these Mazzilli circuits with um, IGBTs you need to change the gate voltage and the best way of doing that is with a buck converter so I just wanted to uh, test out a proof of concept here I've seen some posts about this and people have reported that it works and this is just a demo that it does work and I'm boiling a can of water with it I'm using pretty much the same um, setup as a regular Mazzilli circuit so I've got my uh, these uh, powdered iron ferrite torches on both sides uh, the positive voltage the positive power goes through that into the tank and uh, this absorbs a lot of the RF, RF heats up those uh, metal toroids, they get red hot, actually not red hot, but pretty hot, you can't touch them. And uh, the, the transistors themselves actually stay not even warm, I mean they're just barely warm, so this, this concept is working, I'm happy to say. And uh, if you want me to put up a circuit on this, please let me know in the comments and I'll get you one using a Mazzilli driver 
with IGBTs as opposed to these um, IRFB 260s, which you'll see here. Just want to replace them and check them out. Thanks for watching. Uh, please check back and peace out.